Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In, previ in previous lectures, we have uh, discussed the derivation of second method and we have also solved one example related to the a second method. I will provide the link in video description. You can watch all those lectures. And in this lecture, we will write a MATLAB code for the second method with function plot and the error plot. As we can see that this one is the and graph of the function and here we can also see this one is the numerical solution uh, where the uh, function is uh, intersect the x-axis and this one is the graph of uh, uh, error in our solution as the uh, number of iteration is increasing the error in the uh, solution is decreasing and becomes completely zero after some iteration okay so this will uh, this one and uh, this one be the part of our MATLAB code and uh, we will also draw a, a table for our numerical solution with uh, uh, with number of iteration this one is the interval and this one is the solution after some iteration we have obtained our solution and this one is the error as the number of iteration is increasing and the error is uh, become completely zero after some iteration so let's start uh, to write a MATLAB code. Now we will write a MATLAB code for the second method and uh, we have four section. First that is the given data, next program code and next one is the function plot and then error plot. Okay, so this one is the given data. For example, we have the example function and uh, we want to calculate the numerical solution of this nonlinear uh, function or the nonlinear equation and uh, this one is the interval and point of the interval and this one is the tolerance in the solution that is allowed and here n is equal to 50 means we want 50 number of iteration so now write program code and first i will write the formula of uh, the second method that is xns means numerical solution uh, that is equal to the formula of the second method So this one is the uh, numerical. Uh, this one is the second uh, method formula, and uh, in we want a repeated iteration. So for repeated iteration, here I will use for loop for i is equal to one to one to n means one to fifty number of iteration, and we end this for loop with this end. Okay. So now we will, uh, we want to calculate the error in. Uh, the numerical solution that is error is equal to abs okay absolute of the numerical solution xns calculated minus minus the previous solution that is the b divided by b and uh, okay so this one this will uh, one calculate the numerical solution and here i will use the round of command to round the numerical solution up to uh, to round the numerical error up to four decimal so okay so now i will put the semicolon and uh, next here i will use the uh, if command uh, to break the uh, for loop when the uh, when the error in the error in when the error in the uh, numerical solution if error is less than the tolerance then then this will break the for loop and this will end and we will get our required result and there will be our new updated interval a will be equal to b and b will be updated with the new numerical solution that is x n s okay so here we can see is this working or not i will remove semicolon from over here and i will run yes there is some error and there is some error is in the tolerance 
R A and C E. Okay, so now let's this one again. Okay, so here we can see that this one is working. Okay, now we want this solution in table form. So for table, we will write over here a command f print f print f okay and uh, here we require we want number of iteration in the table and uh, the interval and uh, end point of interval and with the numerical solution x and s and with error okay so for this one we will write over here percentage three i for number of for number of iterations and uh, then percentage this one shows uh, space and 11 dot this one for the four decimal places okay i will copy this for this one for the end point value that is a and this one for b and this one for numerical solution and this one for the error now i will put over here backslash with n for new line so let's run this again and we can see the results over here in table form table table printf here we will put this semicolon over here okay now let's run this again and okay so this one is the uh, table and uh, here we want to uh, display number of iteration and uh, the end point is end point of the interval a b and this one is the solution and this one is the error so for this one we will write before the for loop display command dsp display command this will display the number of iterations and uh, then the end point of the interval a b and this solution that is the xns and this then error okay so we can okay there is some error over here yes now this one is fine let's run this okay so number of iteration a b here some issue of spacing now put some spacing between them and space space with space and space over here and now we can see we need some more space okay so let's run this again and this is fine now okay I will put some more space over here and remove from this. Okay, so this one is fine now. And what is the next section? And in next section, we want to plot the uh, graph of the function. And here, okay, I will write the command for uh, function plot. So first, I will write x is equal to that is the vector and uh, lin space okay interval for the to plot the function for example minus 5 to 5 so this one is the interval for the function plot and uh, here i will put y is equal to f of x this will calculate the values of the function at each point x okay next here i will use the plot command because we we also want to plot the error graph okay that's why i will use over here one and uh, here i will write that is the figure with color of the figure that is y okay so this one is fine now okay next subplot command and uh, now we will plot this x comma y 
function and uh, then the line width width is zero two and uh, now I want to plot the axes and and first I will label the x axis and the y label uh, y axis x label x axis that this will label the x axis x label with this one is the x x and y label this will label the y axis with the given function and what is the given function this is the function so i will paste over there okay now i want to plot the axis for plotting the axis that is x a x is equal to gca this one is the for front axis and x is dot x x is location this is the location for the x axis is start from the origin 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 and semicolon i will copy this for y axis and i will change for y axis this will also start from the origin and here i want to off the box this will off okay so let's run this and uh, okay this one is right so there is some error what is the error origin okay x is x axis location origin okay now let's correct this x axis and y axis location that is the origin location that is origin now run this again and this is fine now and here we can see that there is no box around the graph of the function okay this one is the x label that is the x axis and this one is the y label that is the y axis and now we want to plot the numerical solution okay so for the numerical solution first uh, plot uh, first i will uh, plot the er uh, error decay then we uh, will um, plot the numerical solution so the last section is the error plot so for error plot i will write over here first that is the error error plot and this one equal to okay and semicolon this one to make the matrix or the vector column for the error next i will put over here error plot this one error plot and semicolon a double r one okay so remove right over here a bracket remove this bracket from all okay now i will write over here to plot the errors and this one the subplot two comma one comma two for second graph and plot the error from one to error from one to number of iteration that is i okay so over here e double r or error plot and for one to i okay next with we want red line for the error okay this one for red line and the width of the line line width is two okay and now we also label the x axis and first we give the title that is the title okay this one is the error decay error decay and uh, next 
we want to lab label the x axis that will be x label with num number of iterations x label with number of iterations and uh, y label that will be y label what is the y label error in this version e double r or error in the in the solution okay next i want to plot the x is again we will write all these stuff over here for the x is okay so i will paste over here and then i will use the command draw now okay and i will use pause command to delay to show result step by step with 5 second and okay this one is okay now run this one error in which line that is the line 35 what is the error over here line 35 okay so th there is some error in the spelling that is error plot now change by shift plus enter all the spellings okay now this one is okay let's run this one again so uh, we can see that as the number of iteration is increasing the error in the solution is decreasing and completely zero after some iterations we can see that in the table as the number of iteration is increasing the error in the solution is become zero okay now we want to plot the numerical solution in the graph so to plot the numerical solution in the graph we will write over here that is the x n as numerical solution and the value of the function at this one so x n s and then put comma then here we will we can see that the numerical solution in the numerical solution this will be the uh, red circle okay so now we can see that this one is the numerical solution and converging toward the root of the function okay this one is the numerical solution okay now we want to uh, if uh, the number of iteration if i is equal to the means is equal to 50 number of iteration i is equal to 50 then if we will not found the result in the uh, desired iteration means when i is equal to 50 uh, or by i is equal to n then f print f print f and solution and solution is not obtained in obtained in percentage i iteration okay this one is i and then and x n s is equal to no solution no answer no answer okay then end this condition and okay so this one is when the uh, desired result is not in 50 iteration then and this will shows uh, the uh, uh, this will uh, show the result in not obtained in the uh, given iteration so we have to change the number of iteration so now let's run this again and uh, this okay so thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific_math for more videos related to the mathematics